Hello, this is Jay, and I think we're going to film this one just a little bit different. Today is actually my birthday, so I feel like we're going to start changing up things when we do a little bit more personal vlogs. Uh, since we had moved, we really wanted to stay at a Disney resort with Frank, and one of the resorts that is dog-friendly are the cabins at Fort Wilderness, so we planned a weekend getaway with Frank at the cabins. We can't wait to explore the cabins and the rural rustic environment that they provide. This video will provide a full detailed tour of a cabin. We'll be driving around the entire Fort Wilderness campground and trying out all the exclusive food options like Hoopty Doo musical review. We actually already have a video on Hoopty Doo when they first came back. If you guys want to check that out to, to just see Hoopty Doo, this will be just a little crossover of Hoopty Doo. We'll put that video in the description of this video. I'll be trying out all the food. The cabins are changing up soon, so it's going to be unfortunate. And we'll go over all the exclusive benefits of staying with your pet at Disney, which we've always wanted to do. But first, since it's my birthday, I wanted to have a special lunch. And since we're going to the cabins, I'm thinking eating like a cowboy. Frank's ready because Sam got me cowboy chicken. All right, Sam got me the Laredo, which I had in our Cowboy Chicken video, if you guys want to check that out. And the Twice Baked Taters, I think they're called. Uh, if you guys want to see the Cowboy Chicken video, I'll put that in the description. Let's eat and rate this real quick right now. All right, Laredo. Let's try it out so I can you know, drop this. Frank really wants some. Now, Laredo, the Laredo has chicken skin on the top. If you want a more in-depth review, get in the description. That one's better than last time. Eight. Just solid eight. Really good. All right. Twice baked taters. And that's my favorite side from them. It has this like crispy, it's like a baked potato. They turn into like almost like a hash brown mashed potato hybrid. So good. I'm going to give that um, as well another eight. I really recommend cowboy chicken. It's awesome. All right. So surprise, surprise. Our friends John and Joanna had sent me crumble for my birthday. So open this up. Let's see what... What goodies we got in here? Oh, they got a little, a little mushed. They still look good though. Oh man, is this a peanut butter one? And they have chocolate. I can't eat all this right now though, because we have hoop tonight. But I'm gonna eat a little bit right now for sure. You know, I'm fans of <coughs> peanut butter. So I gotta get a little bit of this peanut butter one before I leave. All right. Mmm. Like brown sugar butter on top. Wow. Oh, wow, it's so good. Eight. So good. Thank you, John and Joanna. Not sure if you guys have been wondering where Sam's been, uh, but I had to work, and I was working from home today, so she's already at the room enjoying herself. Uh, but it's time for Frank and I to go. All right, cowboy. Let's go. Excited, Frank? Yeah, all right, let's go to Disney World. All right, we are approaching Frank's first time in the bubble. And he's in. Frank is officially in the Disney World bubble. So Fort Wilderness always confuses me because it always looks like you're going to Magic Kingdom because you actually have to kind of go towards the Magic Kingdom parking area or the Transportation and Ticket Center. But you're actually have to bear just a little bit to the right. And we're on our way. It looks like a wilderness out here. So many trees. All right. We're approaching Fort Wilderness. Sam's already checked in, so let's just go inside. We had to stop at a crossing because People are horseback riding. You can ride horses here. And the entire resort kind of has a Davy Crockett theme. We're trying to find cabin 2702, and it, it is a giant resort. All right, Frank, we made it. Hi, Sam. Hi. It definitely looks like the wilderness out here. Frank, you want to go in the cabin, buddy? We need some water. Yeah, you need water. Oh. He's very oh, excited. Can you do I think they're oh, no, a little, no, no, little no, big no, for no, you. No, Let no, mom help no. you. <laughs> Helping <Sorry>. Frank in. <laughs> All right, Frank, let's go in our cabin. 
We have a little grill right over here that I'm not going to use because I do not know how to use charcoal. Frank, a little what? hose. All right, let's go in, Frank. Frank let's do the uh, do the honors. Franklin. Frank, you're on the second. wrong side of the door, buddy. There you go. Oh, so nice. So it smells like wilderness in here. Oh, look at this cake. That's such a great cake. So this is a replica cake from our wedding, right, Sam? It's a chocolate chip cake. Vanilla chip with peanut butter icing. We'll have to rate it later, one to 10. All right, Frank has got his cowboy hat on, his bandana. He's ready for his stay at the wilderness <laughs> cabins. He's got his cowboy hat off. He's relaxing. He's relaxing right now. You we gotta get you. Home? We gotta get you a first time pin, Frank. Yeah. All right. Let's do my. Let's do our tour. All right. So now I think we're gonna do a quick tour of the, the cabin. We have done this previously, but I think we had the GoPro we did it last time, right? Yeah. So I think this will probably be a better tour than the last one that we did. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna do like a resort grounds tour, uh, and then tonight, hoop de do musical review, but first tour. Now usually they would have a kit for this little boy but they ran out. That's Frank is not happy about it. But they did give us uh, $50 off, so one pet night fee was taken off. All right, so when you first walk in, there's a full kitchen. You usually only get these if you're staying in a DVC room, uh, but you get them at the cabins here. I think they will have actually turned these into DVC rooms. They have like a hot plate area, a full microwave, a full fridge, a freezer with an ice maker, Spoons are not included. The coffee maker is. Look at this sink. And look at the size of this dishwasher, Sam. It's a full size. That's yeah. And uh, do we have utensils too? We do. Can opener, wine opener. Nice. I think in these cabinets, is there anything in here? That's mine. Oh, that's stuff. Frank's stuff. <laughs> oh, we have plates. plates. And they think if you go to the, tomorrow we'll go to the general store. You can buy like burgers, hot dogs, all that good stuff. In here, you actually have mason jars. Be great for like a mixed drink or a coffee in the morning. And like a Mugs. Dish. Yeah, you can do some nice cooking in here. Right about the dishwasher is a toaster oven. This is a throwback. I don't feel like anyone or any <laughs> millennials have toaster ovens like this anymore. Want to use your stovetop? You obviously have all of the things that you need. A strainer too if you want to make pasta this is the living area here um all of like the chairs everything looks like it's made i mean i'm sure it is actually made from wood you can see that see it here in this one just the theming is is so on point uh look at the chandelier right here too sam i mean this obviously isn't wood that's metal but they have like a bear here some pine trees in the background and i believe there used to be a train that went through Fort Wilderness. It no longer exists, but I think this is probably paying homage oh, to yeah, that train. The birthday sign not included. Uh, there's a couch as well. Uh, the side table again, looks like wood. Very cool. The couch is pull out, so this can sleep up to uh, six people in here, right? Yeah, yeah. there's a bunk bed in the room. Yeah, in the, in the bedroom. And the theme in these shades. Curtains. Curtains. I feel like they could be shades. Obviously your big Disney flat screen TV. Uh, these lights definitely have that like Davy Crockett type of feel to it. They have moose or mooses or a moose on the lights. And then also you can find your phone over here towards the back left. And um, I think you have to put, well, you put this in the door if the dog's in here too, right, Sam? Yeah, no, they're actually they're, they gave me another tag that oh. if you leave the, if the dog's in the room and you're not here they won't come in right below the tv is where you find the remote and housekeeping won't come if the dog's in here but you do usually get housekeeping in this big room every day anyone is staying in the living room there are full drawers and these are big drawers too they look small from the outside like look it looks like they wouldn't be that big but i guess they go all the way like, kind of in and back there frank's impressed <gasps> chair again has that like fresh cut wood themed I don't, I don't think it's themed i think this is just really how they look and i'm disappointed that these are going to be probably rethemed soon because i really enjoy this aesthetic i think it's so unique you really can't find it at really you know any other type of theme park destination and then look at that view into the wilderness you know you can also see some cabins out there too your pillow and blanket will be 
right next to this chair. Um, I'm assuming you can open these up too. If you need, oh, that's where you can, I guess, the router. the router and everything is. Oh, well now you know. Let's head towards the back. So past the kitchen is your uh, coat hanger. Again, that wood theme. This doesn't do anything, it's locked. So I'm assuming that's only it's for, yeah, it's only, it's probably a little dangerous to go in there. Next to the primary entrance, there is Bambi artwork. Uh, you actually have two entrances. There's one over here and then there's one in the bedroom. Before we head in the bedroom, let's take a look at the bathroom. There's also, I want to show you guys, very nice view of your porch out here. You have a nice dinner out there on that porch. All right, so in the bathroom you can see that the lights are themed. Same way that they were out there. Again, that wood theme comes in here, but this feels more like it's a different material, not actually wood. Like it's just plastic. It looks like it's laminated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, laminated plastic. I like these shelves, though. This is wood, though. And yeah, these shelves are, they are nice. Hello. H2O products still exist. We are waiting for the day that they disappear. Disney has said that they, I, I think, uh, or well, H2O closed down. So they're supposed to be replaced with something else, but we're still getting them for now, Sam. I will say that while your towels are above the toilet, the toilet does look small compared to other Disney toilets that I've experienced. Um, I don't think these rooms have been refurbished in a while, so that could be the case. Um, oh, you got a lot of towels down here, which is good. So you can head by the watering hole. The bottom left is where you'll be able to find your dryer. All right, and then you have the shower, obviously. I don't think the curtain's really like themed like the other stuff. Uh, pretty basic as far as showers go. Not the most high scale shower in Disney. More H2O products. These ones attached to the wall. You're not taking this stuff home. I'll check out the bedroom. You can see big vanity mirror. So your big vanity mirror is going to be attached to the bedroom. All right, so this is the bedroom. Here's your separate entry, entry to the porch. Um, you know what? I'll wait to go out there. We'll show you guys after we show you the bedroom, the porch. The bed again is made of wood. Has it like I like to, I keep almost saying wood theme, but it's just wood. You know, uh, the back has those bears as lights. Lots of storage under the bed as well. I mean, look at that. It's like your Davy Crockett yourself. This picture above the bed is from the Walt Disney Imagineering Collection. I believe it's concept art for Frontierland in Disneyland. I do believe that is the superior frontier land for sure. You can find the TV for your remote over here. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, uh, the Gideons have arrived. They've been here. And let's see if there's anything down here. Nothing. Actually, I want to show you guys too. There's only one outlet. So if you like USB ports, this is not for you. You know, this is, this is the rough and tough wilderness. All right. You only get AC ports here. here are the bunk beds. And like, look at that light with like the deer looking off in the background. You get another light up here. Oh, there are some pillows in the bed as well. There's your TV. It's a little TV in here. Um, you get some drawers underneath the TV for storage. Your extra pillow and blanket is kind of like in this closet. Maybe you could sleep a baby up there or something. And then uh, over here inside this closet is obviously your safe, your ironing board, and your iron. You have like in the corner another mirror and another light. A little tight area and a few more AC ports. But again, not going to find any USBs in here. All right, let's take a look at this porch. It's humid out. See all that Florida foliage. And there are some nice scenic views of other cabins back there. But, you know, they're kind of tucked away. So, like, you really can't, you know, you're not, like, on top of each other like you would be in a hotel room. So everyone has, like, their own little privacy. Have a hose if you need it. You don't have a Frank. Yeah. And um, there is just like a metal table. And then, oh, let's take a look at that grill. All right, let's try to take this off. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely, definitely an old school grill. It's a nice little grill. You know, if you know how to use charcoal, this is for you. I do not. As you walk out here, they do have these little like trash areas that you can access. Just kind of like lift it up and throw all your garbage in there. The end of the, each of these property lines is a bus line. Um, I'll try to zoom in so you guys can see it. I don't think we'll be using the bus that much because we actually got ourselves one of these go-karts or golf carts. You can rent these. These are the best ways to get around the Fort Wilderness campgrounds because it is 
vast and huge, and there are a lot of amenities you want to be able to access easily. These can also take you to hoop de doo They have like little parking areas for them. It's kind of like a, you know, like your car here in the wilderness. It's fun, and uh, obviously they're electric, so you got to plug them in uh, to uh, your outlets over on the cabins. All right, we're heading over to hoop de doo but we're going to pick up our friends, our Florida Passport, on Instagram, Mitch and Devin, and they'll be joining us for my birthday dinner. I'm excited. He just picked up Mitch and Devin, our Florida passport on Instagram. I'm excited. Me too. How do you, do, how do you, do? you guys recently did Hoopty Doo again. We we came when it first opened back up. Is, is, does it feel like anything's different or just it's just that a, was, that first was my time. first time? Oh no way! Yeah, so we oh. had not experienced pre shutdown. So nice. Yeah, it was great. We Us did. too, actually. So I think this is all going to be our second time. Yes. Ah, fun. Nice. <laughs> Alright, we've made it on down to Pioneer Hall for the Hoopty Doo musical review. We're gonna go a little more in depth tomorrow in regards to like this area near Pioneer Hall because we're gonna go have some quick service here. But I'm really excited for the atmosphere and entertainment. They do have a drink area where you can wet your whistle over here. It's unfortunately starting to rain here, uh, but this time we're actually gonna be on the second level. Last time we were on the first level, maybe on the right hand side, but I'll probably put the camera away now. We'll miss a little bit of the opening. Trails End is closed while we're staying here. All right, everyone is heading inside. There's no elevator. So, now you know. All right, we're heading up. What a great view of the show from up here. And uh, our early fixins are here. We have the salad, the cornbread, and the cold slaw. So in the description of this video, there will be a full review on all the Hoopty Doo New School Review food. Uh, the cornbread is Boston Market level, so that is my gold standard for cornbread, I can tell you that. Uh, we're going to probably enjoy the show, just like throw some clips in here, and talk about our favorite foods at the end, as far as this experience goes. So, um, yeah, enjoy Hoop Dee Doo Musical Review. Alright, so Mitch and Devin are vegans. They go over all the vegan stuff at Disney on their Instagram, Our Florida Passport. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts at the end. On which, well, you've had the vegan stuff previously, I guess, right? Is there anything that you think like sticks out that you like the most? Ooh, I don't even remember. The green beans? Like, I don't know if you guys have the green beans on your plate, but like, I can't even like remember. I always like think that they're always seasoned super nice, the which strawberry. is like random. The and strawberry. then the dessert is yeah, really good. Shortcake. They have a strawberry. Yeah, I feel like everybody knows, I mean, even the non-vegan one. Like, that's like their highlight here. It's really good. All right, so this is the cornbread vegan style, also gluten-free. It's warm. Your guys' cornbread was so much warmer than ours. You can taste really no gluten in it because <laughs> it doesn't have the consistency. Like it falls apart a lot more. It's a goo boy. It's not that. Well, it's not really gooey. It's more dry boy. It's a dry boy. I shouldn't say goo boy. It's a little dry, but it still has that sweet flavor that this one has. I don't think it's bad. Pretty good to me. I, I definitely can taste the difference. I think gluten would bring it that little gluten flair, you know? Um, but I'll go six. I'm pleased. I'd be content if I was presented this, you know, as an alternative. So unlike most Disney restaurants, alcohol is included here at the Hoopty Doo. So you can get your drink on and the sangria, actually all the, well, you guys got beer, right? Yeah, so all of it's included. And I um, mean, drink as much as you want. I'm probably gonna just have like one or two. <laughs> Here they come. Sure, we have a couch. Well, we were held over at our previous engagement. The stage coach broke down, and you know how the stage coach is going to be so long with it is for we got a show. So I got a little vegan food, the impossible sausage. A little dry, but very close to real sausage. Pretty good. Spicy though. Mm -hmm. You better six, I wouldn't be disappointed. We also did get 
some mashed potatoes. And these are all you care to eat, so you got seconds if you want to. There's a little intermission while you have dinner. We also got some baked beans, which for my stomach, unfortunately, I can't have. But we also got mac and cheese, which looks so good. I remember enjoying this last time. That does it for the hoopty doo. Had a great time. The vegan food is pretty good too. I think we walked out of the hoopty doo into like a terrible store. It's it's like th thundering. We wanted to go over our favorites, but I think we're gonna have to try to run back to the cabin. I wanted to get um, uh, Mitch and uh, Devin's thoughts too. All right, so it's the next morning. Uh, we're gonna get breakfast. Usually they have the Trails End restaurant, but it's close for refurbishment, so they have P and J's. Southern takeout or just PJ's takeout? Southern takeout. PJ Southern takeout, which is They it sits online, they have all these like really cool coffees and stuff, but when you go to mobile order it's not on the menu. Like it's on Disney's website menu, but not in the mobile order menu. There was like a s'mores latte, a strawberry shortcake. Yeah, but it's not in the mobile order menu. So we're gonna drive down there. There's also food trucks and you can find all this stuff where we were at last night right near Hoop Doo Musical Review. So let's head on down. All right, so that's where we were yesterday, right here. That's Pioneer Hall. Uh, you have to bear right to go to P&J's. They also have uh, these food trucks out here. There's two of them for breakfast. I think we might just do breakfast here and see what they're doing for the coffee in there. We'll definitely at least get P&J's once. You'll have to go in Davy Crockett's Arcade. All right, so update. These specialty coffees are not available during the refurbishment. Um, so I think for breakfast, we're going to stick to these like food trucks they have out here. And then we'll come back for lunch and we'll do lunch over at P&J's. But like they that. did have some coffee syrups and stuff if you kind of wanted to try to make your own. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they put some syrups out there. Uh, you also can get like, you can get Mickey Waffles, all like your classic Disney breakfast fare at P&J's in the mobile order app. All right, Sam is going to have her hand at that chicken sandwich. This is at the food truck that's right next to P&J's, right across from the trading post. The skit is so tiny, and the yeah. chicken is the chicken looks good though. Yeah, it looks good. It's it's an it's definitely seems like an original thing. I feel like fried chicken is the flavor. They definitely cooked that fresh too. It's very hot, but the chicken is delicious. And it's nice and cheesy. I haven't gotten any of the biscuit yet because. The chicken is so big, obviously. The biscuit looks like fresh. That's one of the best breakfast sandwiches that I've ever had. Wow. It's so good. That doesn't taste like a quick service, you know, sandwich. Like that was definitely, like he said, fresh. And then the egg, like real egg. Look at that big piece of chicken. Yeah, I, I kind of want a little bite of it. It is kind of hard to eat. The biscuit's kind of like crumbling and but they have good, good tots on the yeah, side. Just, they seem just like pre-made tots. Crunchy tots, nice portion. 
I would give this a nine. Wow, that's high praise. That is high praise. Now I got the croissant breakfast sandwich with bacon. This doesn't look as fresh, but the bacon does look, if you see here, like crispy, definitely cheesy. It's just like a flat kind of scrambled egg. And you put the cheese like in between. Mmm. Crispy bacon, buttery croissant. It's like good American cheese. I would like cheddar. I prefer cheddar, but you know, American is the go-to in the area we live in. Wow, that's really good. Probably better than like a standard Disney breakfast sandwich. I got an eight. That's solid. And again, more pre-made tots. All right, so the food trucks over here, um, not Goju's, but next to it. They have a Danish of the day. Uh, the one next to Goju's, the Fort Wilderness one, that kind of looks like a camper. That one is the one where you get the Danish and then two breakfast and the sandwiches. Best breakfast sandwich all around yeah no that was that was really... i had sam's i want to almost knock mine down to a nine nine i mean sorry knock mine down <laughs> to a seven sam's is 100 percent a nine the, the biscuit tasted fresh and hot the chicken tasted like it was fresh fried and then the the egg on sam's i, I prefer a fried egg over mm. a scrambled egg you know I, after trying sam's i just couldn't give mine a seven and he I was like he was eight. trying to offer me some of his and i was like no it's okay <laughs> <laughs> i'm good um, yeah, so this is their Danish of the day. It's blueberry Danish. And we're mm. waiting for that go juice to open to get the coffee. It opens in like five minutes. So much filling. Gooey Danish. Mm. Wow. You want to make this better, Sam? Coffee? Yeah. That, <laughs> hopefully that place opens soon. Uh, they have a banana coffee at go juice right behind you. I think coffee makes everything better. <laughs> They have a cold brew too, and they have, and you can make it Thai style. Ooh, interesting. Uh, this is so good. I'm not, I'm gonna wait for the, the coffee to eat the rest of it. Um, moist. The blueberry is it's not too tart. It's sweet. It almost it's almost like the blueberries are like the perfect ripeness. And then like it has this little cheese at the bottom of it, you know, like a sweet cheese. So good, so delicious. I'm gonna give that a seven. It's a, it's a really good Danish. All right, Sam has gotten her banana coffee from Go Juice. Um, I also got one too. I haven't tried mine yet though. It tastes like a banana smoothie. It's like a caffeinated banana smoothie, in my opinion, more than a coffee. Like it has that thick consistency. It's all the banana. It tastes very good though. And it's not like overly sweet. It's like naturally sweetened with the real banana that's in it. Uh, nice. I would give it a seven. Ooh. Yeah, it looks really good. I can't wait to try mine out. And I think before we leave, I'll do like a quick little rundown tour of what you can find in this area. All right, so quick tour. That's where we just were. These are the, the food trucks. Um, they also have a play area right across from the food trucks. They have another kind of like a gift shop. They call it the Settlement Trading Post. And then you have your golf cart parking. Also, the uh, Boats to Magic Kingdom are very close to here. After you park the golf cart, you'll make a right and then here it is. This is the waterway that goes to Magic Kingdom with the boats. You can also rent boats here. They offer fireworks cruises, which are $3.99 for 10 people. And you can go fishing. The fireworks cruise means you can watch the Magic Kingdom fireworks from, I believe, uh, Bay Lake and the Seven Seas Lagoon. All the different fish that you can find on the lake here. Bay Lake. These are some of the boats that you can rent. It's definitely beautiful out there. We have a beach right near the boats that you just lounge around at. If you're walking off the boat, you go right, and there were the food trucks we were just at, um, as well as Crockett's Tavern. Virtually Trails End is closed. And Crockett's then, um, is closed too. Oh yeah, it's They're all closed. All under renovation right now. Here they do have food truck roundup it's from 5.30 to 9.30. And where we are right now is the settlement, so if you take the bus loop, You'll have to come to the settlement. That's only Tuesday and Wednesday, though. That's not every day. Oh, there you go. They do have horse-drawn carriage rides. $55 nightly, 5.30 to 9.30. I'll show you where you can find those. And obviously, right past here, you'll be able to find Pioneer Hall, where the Hoop-de-Doo musical review is. Crockett's Tavern, when it opens back up, will be 
This is it. It's, it's right here. It's crazy because that big crane we saw yesterday when we came for dinner is already gone. Well, they're like actively yeah. working on this. So hopefully it's done soon and we can come back and film all the food here. Yeah. Right here, right past Pioneer Hole is where you can do your wagon rides. They're 25, um, where the wagon rides are 25 minutes. $12 for children, eight for adults. And then they also, I believe, pick up here for the horse strong carriage excursions. And right past there, is where you'll find the bus loop. So you don't actually need a golf cart. You could use the buses to get around here. And the buses can also take you, it looks like, to Magic Kingdom based off the signs. All right, so this is for the tour here. I think we'll go back to the room. I'll probably check uh, one of the pools out, maybe one of the gift shops. And then I will show you guys lunch and that'll pretty much be everything from Fort Wilderness. We'll go over our full thoughts at the end. Uh, but I'm enjoying our, our time so far, right? It's very relaxing. Yeah. Hi, so we're back at the cabin. I wanted to show you guys the map so you can get a sense of scale. All right, so this is the map. This is where we came in from, the outpost area, and this is where we are. We're in the 2700 section. Most of the amenities are going to be in the meadow section, uh, where uh, you, this is where you could find, like, where we just were, or close to it, is uh, Pioneer Hall. It's kind of, like, right here at the end, um, at the settlement. And then each kind of these sections has their own pool. So I'm going to check out our pool which is right, you can see, that's right here. And then I'm gonna go to the meadow, which has like the larger pool there, the bike barn, and some other amenities, as well as like the general store. Let's head out. Nice out. All right, we made it to the swimming pool. You park, your, park your electric cart like right there. And then here's the walk-in area. This is one of like the smaller pools and each of the different camping sections will have their each like smaller or tinier pool. All right, so I messed up a bit. There's a lot of people in there and uh, I thought they would have towels like they do at a lot of the resorts, but you actually have to bring your own towel here. So I think I'm gonna go back to the cabin, grab my own towel and then I'll go to the bigger pool to check that one out. We've made it to the meadow area. A lot of different amenities here. The shop, uh, bike area where you can rent bikes, pool, splash pad. So let's explore. Bus loop does drop off in front of here too in case you don't have a golf cart. All right, so the meadow trading post is like the main gift shop here. So let's take a look inside. They still have the 50th anniversary merchandise when you first walk in. Mugs, picture, picture frames, all that stuff. In the ceiling you can see all things that would be associated with the wilderness camping roughing it out there's like little wilderness mickey all things you would need for cooking in your cabin things for your kids as well as medicines eggs bacon hot dogs cheese yeah if you're looking to maybe not rough it up so much Oh, they also obviously have alcohol here, and they have the grapefruit beer they have at Epcot. For those grills outside, they have charcoal, too, and things to help you light it. I am not risky enough to cook with charcoal. Oh, they have uh, like a little fireplace in here, too. All right, let's take a look through the back, see the actual meadow area. So right outside the gift shop, uh, this is like a little area where you can fish, although I think the water level is a little low right now. And there's the bike barn back there where you can rent bikes. We'll take a walk over there and maybe meander over this bridge. You can see the splash pad right back there, which is going to be the right over the bridge. And it looks like this waterway kind of goes throughout the entire Fort Wilderness area. So if we were going to the pool, I'd have to bear right. But I want to check out the bike barn first. And then I think we'll head over to the pool. Although I don't do a lot of filming your pools because, you know, people are in their bathing suits. feel uncomfortable. Unless I can get like a little quiet area, I usually don't turn the camera on. Uh, so right over the bridge to the left, this is something that Sam's dad uh, would have loved. You can actually go like mining, I think, through these waters. Comes right down through here, goes right into the lake. And you can kind of sift through it. They get all different like rocks and metals and stuff. Oh, this is awesome. I don't think you're gonna be getting any gold out of that area though. They have canoes, but 
It is closed. I'm not sure if that's because of the water level or if this is just here for theming. All right, so here's the bike barn. This is where you can do the gem mining, kayaking, canoeing, bicycling. You can rent a lot of things here. It also looks like you can fish over in these areas. Right, so it does look like um, they have a campfire show here. I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, but they have a snack bar, tennis courts, and the swimming pool. So let's head over and take a look at the area. All right, so it is insanely packed in that pool. Not the relaxing, enjoyable experience I was looking for. So I'm not gonna go to this one. I'm gonna try to drive around and find another one. I probably won't film, so I can just relax. Uh, but it's a huge pool. The slide looks very cool. It's like a water tower. And then the attached snack bar has some unique things. Uh, there's some pizza, obviously, the kids will enjoy. Uh, there's also a pulled pork sandwich. Uh, some uh, chips, I believe, are topped with like a, the pulled pork, probably, that they have there. And then a all-beef hot dog. So things the whole family will enjoy. Also, if you expand, go a little bit outside, you can see behind me, they have a tennis court over here. They have um, a volleyball court. They also have a play area for kids. It's just a really nice area, uh, this like meadow swimming pool type of area. Definitely a place to frequent if you're staying here. I'm gonna try to find one of the more quiet pools and then maybe we'll have some lunch. All right, so we got lunch. We chose not to go to P&J's simply because P&J's seems to be just like quick service hoop de doo right? We had a lot of fried chicken last night. If it's the same fried chicken and ribs, they are good. The fried chicken I like a little bit more than the ribs, but the ribs are pretty solid too. Uh, they also had a pulled pork sandwich, but what was this food truck called? This is where we got breakfast the too, chuck right? Chuck wagon. Yes, yeah, so this is called I the chuck that wagon. They're the superior option right now. Yeah, as far as like breakfast and lunch. Yeah. Um, so I got a buffalo chicken sandwich. They do have a pulled pork chicken sandwich there. Sam got the kids turkey sandwich. I just didn't want to eat more fried food because I had fried chicken for dinner, fried chicken for breakfast, so I needed something lighter. And it, did, it said that the turkey was cooked <gasps> in-house. Oh, Frank, turkey sandwich. Yeah, and then, look, they cut the crusts off, yeah, like how mom used to do. With grapes. You also got a little side of fries, too. Everything comes with fries. Like, the Disney fries are the most basic. I, when I imagine an average fry, I think of Disney fries. For a kid's sandwich, I think this looks pretty good. <laughs> Oh, Frank yeah, agrees. It's it good too. <laughs> it's a slightly elevated turkey sandwich because it's good turkey meat. I mean, it could use like a little sauce on it or something, but I guess since it's aimed towards kids, it's not going to have. Yeah, if you put like a little mayo on that or but mustard. But I think it's like a solid option. And if you need a break from all the fried food, go for the kids' turkey sandwich. I would give it a six. Yeah, I like how the crusts are cut off. All right, so for those that know, know that these are one of the most popular options at Magic Kingdom. Casey's Corner. What, Sam? Corn dog nuggets. Yes. I was surprised you got them. I thought you would get them tonight at Magic They're Kingdom. popping up everywhere. Well, I thought it was a novelty to be able to get it at the resort. You know? They also have Mickey pretzels at the truck wagon as mm. well. I saw they had Mickey pretzels at the swimming pool, too. Um, this is really good. I mean, it's the classic fried corn dog nuggets from Disney. So good. They don't good. have any dip or anything that comes with mm. it, but. That's the downside. I should ask for a little mustard, a little ketchup. Uh, very good. I like these. I'm going to give them an eight just because I like them. Flavor wise, they're probably actually a six, but they're legendary Disney lore. So if you get them at your resort, plus they also have them at Hollywood and Vine. I think you got to give them the Frank. What? Get one to Frank. Get one to Frank right now? Yeah. He's... It's torture. He's watching us eat, you know? Whoa. Good catch. Now, Sam, my heart was leaning towards pulled pork, but your chicken was so good earlier. Yeah, no, the, the chicken that was on the breakfast sandwich was amazing. It's the buffalo chicken sandwich. Mmm. Look at all that blue cheese. Is it spicy? I feel like I don't... I, I was imagining that it was going to be, like, drenched in sauce. Yeah, so it's got... looks like sauce on top. And on top of that is the... Or actually, look, it's, there's sauce actually on the bun. Mm. And then they got blue cheese. Looks like they sauce in two parts. Look how that white meat chicken is. That's qual... The thing is, this is fresh fried quality chicken. That's what's making the sandwich, you know? That's really good. I think chicken there is great. Um, it's not... For me, I like a little bit of buffalo. If you're a buffalo fan, you probably want more than this provides. It's not super spicy at all. And again, it comes to the most basic fries ever. Maybe the chicken sandwich is seven. I think it's a, it's a good quality 
chicken sandwich. I almost wish you can get it like non-buffalo style, but I'm happy to have it either way. To the favorite cake, my favorite cake of all time that I've ever had was at our wedding and Sam attempted to recreate it at home. Um, you're missing milk, right, in the icing? Yeah, I didn't have ever. It wasn't, you know, perfect. It was our wedding cake. Our wedding cake had peanut butter icing and it was a chocolate chip vanilla It was a cake. vanilla chip. It was actually made by Sprinkles at Disney yeah. Springs. But I used um, dark chocolate, like Belgian chunks. Mm. I prefer the dark chocolate. Yeah, no, the chunks, the day day is really good. But also, this cake has also been, like, sitting in the fridge for two days. We were supposed to eat it last night, but we ate so much at Hoopty Doo. Yeah, we could We are going to be able to finish it. Um, I'm going to give it a 10. <laughs> you're just, a you're just 10. saying that. No. The, the love makes it a 10. <laughs> um, it is, like Sam said, dried out because it was in the fridge. But imagine it's fresh. <laughs> It'd be my favorite cake ever. Um, it's just for me, peanut butter icing has that smooth, sweet, say, like, it's just like smooth and sweet together. With like the fats of the peanut butter. And then... You have that dark chocolate chunk, so you get little bit, bits of bitterness inside the cake. Oh, look at the size of the slice I took. <laughs> it's my favorite type of cake, and I really appreciate Sam making it for me. <laughs> so this is a 10 for me. <laughs> All right, so while we do have one more night here, I think we are going to cut the video right about here. I think you guys got a good idea of how my birthday went and a good idea of the size, the amenities, and what you can expect at Disney's Fort Wilderness and cabins. Um, what, do you, what do you think so far, Sam? I loved it. Obviously, getting to bring Frank here is a huge perk, you know, for like a nice family trip. And the cabin is great. It's so spacious. It feels so private. Yeah. Uh, but I really do feel like you definitely, like, if you don't have a car with you, like, you need that golf cart. Like, it's just such a big resort. Yeah, you definitely there need are, the golf like, cart. There are, like, many bus stops, but I feel like it's just, yeah. so you don't want to be out waiting for a bus. It's, uh, it's very hot now. We're at that time of year. Yeah, the each little area the way to go. has a bus stop, um, but definitely, I definitely suggest getting the golf cart. I love the theme of the interior of the cabins. I do think they do need a refresh for sure. Um, I am disappointed Disney's kind of doing away with that kind of log cabin vibe and just going completely with more of a modern glamping type of aesthetic. Yeah, um, these wish... are going to be refurbished soon. I'm sure yeah, that up. I wish they kept the, you know, exterior and just kind of upgraded the inside a little bit. I yeah. don't think it you know, needs anything else. No, it needs some USB ports. It definitely need, it doesn't need an update on the inside, but it was very nice to have all that space. Uh, we paid close to $400 for a weekend night, but I think you can get it for like three fifty dollars on weekdays. Yeah. Um, I think it's kind of worth it if you this is what you like, you know? It's it's rough for, if it's camping. And for you know, a special occasion, rough, but, I thought it was yeah. good, you know? Yeah, um, we had a great time. Being able to take Frank on the golf cart, driving the golf cart around, um, and we still have one more night. Definitely reserve the golf cart in advance. There's actually a phone number that you call to do that because I'm glad I did that because they were sold out. Yeah. But how we got here the beds too that was some of the best night's sleep i've had like they remind me of the pop century beds which are like our favorite beds of all time the only downside to the bed is that it's against the wall so i was on the wall side so i had no outlet or no table yes, to put my yeah. water so like everything was in the bed with me because the bunk beds are but on the, the other bed side. is super comfortable so comfortable uh so nice to stay in uh spacious uh being able to take the water taxi to magic kingdom yeah so I'm convenient excited to so do nice that later. yeah uh, really, we had a great time. Um, it was one of the most memorable birthdays ever. And um, tomorrow, we're actually going to be going to Space 220. We've yeah. never been there before. We were able to get it because we're staying here. Uh, so keep a lookout for that video, which is that we're kind of cutting this one short because tomorrow is Space 220 day. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time when videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. All the natural foliage and the birds, too. I saw so many different birds. I don't I don't know the names of them, though. There was, like, a red bird, also, we red forgot, robin, maybe. We forgot to mention how great it was to have Mitch and Devin come to Hoopty Doo. Hoopty yes. Doo is always a good time and is a great way to, like, party or celebrate. Like, if, when you go, it will, it's, it's, like, everyone's birthdays, everyone's anniversary, because it's just such a fun way to celebrate. Yeah, it's a great thing to do with friends, and yeah. I'm really happy we were out to hang out with Mitch and Devin. We need we need a little bit more Mitch and Devin we do. around, for sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just a yeah, beautiful, scenic resort, and it's uniquely Disney because Disney World has the size to be able to capitalize on creating an environment like this. Yeah, it feels so private. Mm -hmm.